Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross video on determining the x-intercept or y-intercept of a tangent to a circle. Let's read the question. The diagram shows a circle with centre 0, 0 and a tangent at the point 5, 9. The tangent to the circle, this line here, intersects the x-axis at the point B here. Work out the x-coordinate of B. Now this is just combining two skills that we've already encountered. We saw in a previous video how we can find the equation of, of a tangent to a circle. And we also saw that if we have the equation of a straight line, how to work out the x-intercept or the y-intercept of that line. So we're just combining those two skills together. So step one is just to find the equation of the tangent. Now let's quickly remind ourselves how we did that. We drew in the radius of that tangent to the centre of the circle, so this is the radius here, and we know that the tangent and the radius, they meet at a right angle like that. So what we did is we found the gradient of the radius first, so I'm going to put MR, just I mean the gradient M of the radius. And if you think about it, if we have two points, 0, 0 here and 5, 9 here, the gradient is just a change in y over the change in x. So the change in y, so if I just write those two points here, 0, 0, 5, 9, here to here, the change in y, 0 to 9, is 9, and the change in x from 0 to 5 is 5. So that's the gradient of this, so let me write that in. The gradient is 9 over 5. And then do you remember, if we've got the gradient here, we want the gradient of the perpendicular line. So we want the gradient of the tangent, and the gradient of tangent, to find the perpendicular gradient, we just do the negative reciprocal of this. So, we, so if it was positive, it's now negative, and we do the reciprocal of the fraction. To find the reciprocal of a fraction, you just flip it upside down. We do one over it, which flips upside down, and we get that. So we now have the gradient of this tangent, which is minus 5 ninths. Now, we know the gradient of this line is minus 5 ninths. We've also got a point on this line. We know that A, which is 5 9, lies on that line. So we just need to find the equation of the line, which has that gradient and goes through that point. Well, we start with y equals mx plus c. That's the general equation of a straight line. But we can sub everything we know in. We know that the gradient is minus 5 ninths. So we've got minus 5 ninths. So it's mx, that means m times x, multiplied by this particular x value here, which is 5, plus the c, which is what we're trying to work out. And we also know the y at this particular point is 9, so we substituted everything in. And then if we just simplify a bit, if we just make that 5 over 1, then we can multiply these fractions together. So 5 times 5, we've got negative 25 over 9 times 1 is 9 plus c, and then we want c on its own, so we add 25 over 9 to both sides. And if we do that, I'm just on my calculator going to do 9 plus 25 over 9, and that is 106 over 9. So we now know that the equation of the tangent is y equals uh, the gradient, which we knew is minus 5 ninths x plus the c, um, x plus c, the c we worked out is 106 over 9. Okay, so we've done step one, found the equation of this line here. Now, we'll either be asked to find the y-intercept, which is here, or the x-intercept, which is here. Now, what do we know about an x-intercept? Well, we can see at this point, the y-value is zero. When we're on the x-axis, the y-value is zero. So, step two here, if we're finding the x-intercept, we're going to make y zero. But if you were finding the y-intercept, then you'd make x zero. But here we, we want to find the x-intercept, so we're going to make y zero. So in this equation, I'm just going to make y zero. Zero equals minus 5 ninths x plus 106 over 9. Um, I'm going to make my life a bit easier by multiplying everything by 9, so we get rid of fractions. We don't like fractions and equations, so I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 9. Apologies, I'm running out of space. So 0 times 9 is still 0. 5 ninths times 9 just becomes 
5, it gets rid of the over 9, so it's minus 5x plus, and that times 9 just gets rid of the over 9, 106. And I'm just going to do it over here because I've run out of space. But um, what we can then do is we could um, add 5x to both sides, so we get 5x equals 106. And that means if we divide both sides by 5, x is 106 over 5. And that is the final answer.